Hello there, everybody. Welcome to a brand new uh, Afterbirth Plus mod. This is a little spotlight. Uh, this is a mod that I have been following for a hot minute. This is Retribution. The Binding of Isaac Retribution. This adds 109 new items to the game. Haha, <laughs> funny Isaac number meme. Uh, including some fun stuff. It also has a, a good character that we are going to play as today. And, uh... Dude, I'm excited to hop in. I've been following this one on Twitter for a while. It's a mod by Cerulean and Zalem. Uh, pardon me if I, I completely butchered your names. But, uh, dude, I'm excited. Let's do this. I actually want to I want to make sure we turn on uh, higher chance for modded items. Uh, then these are the only mods I have on besides uh, the, the anti-birth music. Because, I mean, look, you know who I am at this point. Um, I enjoy the anti-birth soundtrack a lot. So, that's where we'll be rocking. Okay. Uh, I do have, they have a guide that they've made on Steam so that I can see what said items do for us. Uh, so we start with Communion, reverse the trajectory of all enemy projectiles and transform them into homing tiers. I'm interested. Okay, we also start with Spectral Tears. Wow, we look absolutely horrifying. Uh, and we also have what I'm assuming are Wax Wings. Uh, if I, yeah, Wax Wings grants flight and major stat upgrades until the player takes damage on the floor. Then it teleports me back to the start. So right now, we, we got 5.5 damage and 8 rate of fire. That's really good, to be honest. That, that's like insanely good. So here's your seed, HM9S DTWZ. Uh, I will link the mod in the description, of course. Gimpy, okay, not modded, but you know what, Gimpy is totally fine we also start with an eternal heart so I, I mean look very very strong character uh to start out with here should make the first floor pretty easy for us in the end um but you never know right you never know this is me we're talking about there are some there's some funky enemy animations that i'm seeing uh at first i thought it was just i was going crazy but there's definitely, there's there's some new animations and new sound effects when enemies pop up into the room. Uh, I think it looks, I think it looks fantastic, to be honest with you. Uh, does not go unnoticed in the slightest. Uh, any, any small little changes that a mod makes, uh, I'm, I'm in for. I actually want them to shoot at me. Oh, dude, that is super cool. Okay. I get it. So we basically reverse the enemy projectile and then it turns into a homing shot that hits the enemy itself. I can imagine that this is absolutely absurd fighting like Hush. Like, can you, can you imagine uh, all of a sudden all of the shots go back at Hush? I think that sounds like a, a damn good time. Uh, I'm going to take the Soul Heart so we got a little bit of protection. Not that I expect to get hit. There is Afterbirth Plus. Come on, I ain't getting hit on the uh, first floor boss fight, especially with 5.5 damage and 8 rate of fire. Come on, dude. So, I mean, look, I, I like to, when I do a mod spotlight, um, I, I like to, especially if the, if the devs don't reach out to me, I feel way, I feel way better about, this is going to sound terrible when I say it, snake oil. Okay, here we go. I got I to gotta look this up. Snake oil. Snake oil. It's a damage up. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my god, okay, it is, but it did not affect my damage stat, so that's, that's an interesting one, for sure, um, seems insane though, uh, it's also, it works 85% of the time, every time, something like that, anyway, uh, it's gonna sound terrible when I say this, but I don't like bashing a mod, uh, that I end up not liking, or doesn't have good mechanics, or something like that, I don't like bashing a mod if the mod dev reaches out to me to cover the mod, right um then i'll just kind of uh, i'll word things a little bit differently in the video and then i'll reach out to them personally and be like hey here's a couple things that i i really didn't like i'm all about constructive criticism uh but i also i i can understand being upset when you spend a lot of time on something and then you have somebody just bash it needlessly right so i'm not gonna shy away from from giving feedback on the mod um I, I don't want to needlessly bash it, but uh, I think it's important to to make it known that the devs did not reach out to me to to cover this. This was just I've been following it for a while, and and it looks really good. And to be fair, I'm already having a damn good time with it, so uh, I'm happy. But only complaint that I'll have so far: this character seems very easy. I don't know if I'm missing something, uh, or if maybe it's just you know I don't want to. 
toot my own horn here, but maybe players that are better at the game are going to have an easier time. Uh, I also don't know if once you get hit, the stat downgrade that you receive is enormous and Wax Wings is actually like insanely good. That could be the case for sure. Wow, he spawned... He spawned a very stationary... Stationary boyo there. That's a little bit whack. Okay, so a chariot card, a full card. I'll keep the full card for right now. We don't have any keys. So going to our shop is not possible. But we will do our best. I would love to know. I would love to know what the actual damage up. Ah, okay. Well, we'll figure it out. We go down to essentially base Isaac stats. Okay. I'm gonna be real. I think you can get dipped down even further. Um, I, I think you can make this character have Eve level starting stats, uh, which, oh, dude, I got freaking doorstop. I actually don't like doorstop uh, as a trinket. Very, very, you know, obviously playing as lost, doorstop is pretty good, uh, things like that. But most of the time, I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't need the. Uh, I don't need to leave the, the room that I am currently in. Good pill? One makes you small is fine, right? It's fine. But uh We'll see. I, I look, it's the second floor. I'm 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 judging the character based on the second floor. But anyway, I would love to know the, the actual damage up percentage on snake oil because I'm not sure I'm feeling that that much of a damage up from this. Dude, that communion feels so good to use. I actually, th this is how I wish telekinesis as an item was, um, like legitimately that this, this is so much more fun than telekinesis. Uh, absolutely, absolutely love it. Okay. Crawl space. What do you got? What do you got? Cursed eye, huh? Am I going to do cursed eye? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do cursed eye. Um, Without spoilers, I've been I've been getting acquainted with Cursed Eye recently uh, off camera, and I think that that this could be a a fun item to mess with on this one. I dude, I just I absolutely hate the the leaving rooms, and I still love the animation when the enemies pop out of the ground. That is really good. Maybe I don't notice it in normal Afterbirth Plus um, that there is a small animation when they pop out of the ground, but the sound effect that is added makes you notice it and it's it's actually very very well done i like it a lot okay with spectral tears we can do a little bit of uh maneuvering through these rooms i'm gonna pop in here real quick hello sir maybe maybe a little gupster item Ooh, what is this i'm interested uh oh i mean we'll take it for sure black box okay black box a luck up reduces luck by 0.5 each use. A chance to spawn spiders or a collectible proportionate to luck. Okay. So it did give me a small luck up. Dude, I think this is really interesting. <laughs> I think this is an insanely interesting item. So basically getting it early, we're going to just stack our luck forever. Um, but then it'll spawn possibly items for us i like communion like a lot though it's a very difficult decision uh to make here but i, I think i'm going to run this black box but i i can't deny i there's another part of me that's like communion's really fun it's really fun uh let me know what you would have taken in the comment section so that i i realize uh and you know what i'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a fun thing called say goodbye to doorstop because it's pissing me off. I don't like it. I don't like it. Keep on leaving the dang rooms. Health down. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So I will rock. Uh, look, if the devil deal has a good new item, and by good new item, I mean a new item. I, I really don't know any of the items, so saying good new item is a little bit of a a wacky thing to say but uh if it has a new item then obviously i'll take it if it doesn't then maybe we'll rock angel deals um i have no idea if angel deals are, are better or worse in this mod if there's new item more new items in the devil deal than the angel deal i have absolutely no idea 
We spawn some more spiders. Our luck. So isn't it supposed to give me a... It's a luck up, but reduces my luck by 0.5 each use. Okay. I'm, I'm still very, very uh, interested. And dude, I might go for the void play instead. I'm going to. I'm going to. Also, our luck is at negative 1.5, which I don't know how to really reconcile that one at the current moment. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a little weird. Let, let's do this. I, I maybe made a grave mistake <laughs> on this one. It's a luck up penny, but I don't think that's gonna... I don't think that's gonna save my, my luck upgrade too much. Uh, I'm going to try to void communion. Which should just be done by getting a battery charge, dude. Come on. I needed a battery charge. There's also two items in here. I kind of want to look at least what they do. So false idol is what this, this one right here is. And it grants a major luck up for the current room. But it's an active item. So if I were to void that... We all know how this would go. And then the other one is... I'm, I'm scrolling trying to see. Dude, there's a Spelunky reference in, in this mod. I'd love it. Silver Flesh. Damage times 1.2. Guarantees that each floor is an alternate one. Uh, that's interesting. Not sure the, the usefulness of it, but it's interesting for sure. Uh, I I don't know how I... How I can do this in a way that makes sense frankly i don't i don't even think we can um I, I mean the one thing that i need the most is a battery charge and i don't think it's too too possible to get one i want to try i want to try but where where the heck am i getting the battery charge from dude i don't think it's a a reasonable ask so we go right do we just go? Boy, I'm disappointed because we, we could have some, some very fun synergies here to get a massive luck upgrade every time we hit the void, but then we also lose luck every time we hit the void. It, it's a unique idea. Uh, we could, I mean, look, we could go back, we could grab the chariot card. I'm just going to, any, any poop or fire I see is going to be a, an insta hit trying to get that singular singular uh coin that we require even like a, another bomb goes a long way for us it's to get the pot or something we we could we could get some stuff oh dude we just glitched into the secret room that's pretty good okay and then we got a penny i only got balls of steel pill but that's that's less important to me uh, wow, okay, that's that's an interesting one for sure. So now now we have the... I didn't realize we had Curse of the Maze. Uh, we could... I mean, look, we can continue to do that forever and get freaking the super secret room, but that seems so... That seems so whack job. Um, we could go for the damage up and guarantee the alternate floors. I think that's probably the safest thing to do. I would take the active item, but we don't have a way to void it. So I think that that's kind of a, a bad play for us. So I'll take the, the damage up. This makes it where every floor will be an alternate floor. Um, and it's a 1.2 times damage multiplier, not a, a damage up. So that's, that's pretty good as a whole. That's pretty good. And I have a feeling that that's going to then very positively affect our damage here on the next floor when we get wax wings back because keep in mind uh we're not even we not even at our max potential we not even at our max potential so here we go we got a catacombs xl we're now at 8.6 damage so basically getting wax wings back increased our damage by uh two ish this is like the most prime location for a bomb you've ever seen in your freaking life, dude. This is an incredible spot. Uh, why did I why did I put a charge on the void? That's a very good question. That's a very good question. I don't have a, a great response to you. I will say here, here's something that I'm noticing about the mod. Um, that is, it feels insanely good because it's 
basically my major complaint about a lot of Afterbirth Plus mods these days. And the thing is, is, is something that in a lot of ways the dev can't even control in some senses. The mod runs really smooth. It's a very, very uh, well-coded mod right now. Normally, I'll, I'll experience slowdowns just playing with like one mod on. Um, but this is pretty well optimized. I'm, I'm running at insane frame rate right now. So props to you mod devs if you figured out some way to make this game actually run uh, with mods in a way that matters. Dude, I'm taking freaking puberty pills. I completely forgot that there's even the adult transformation. I've been playing so much dang anti-birth. Uh, where there is no adult transformation. It's weird because you actually... I'm starting to forget um, mechanics from Afterbirth Plus with the amount that I have played Anti-Birth now. Which, I mean, is, is good and bad, right? I'll do it. Wow, I forgot I had Poker Chip. <laughs> that ends up being a, a absolutely terrible room, but... With our damage, we will we will annihilate these boyos. I could just go for the cursed eye play um, and leave. I got I got a lot of HP, but it's an easy room. It's an easy room, so who cares? You give me a pill. It's a luck down. I I just don't even know what to say about a luck down at this point. It's is very not good. It's very not good. But we continue. The sound effects are still. It's like a, a beautiful sound effect. I I feel like I need to. They gave a full credit to the, the people that worked on the mod. I know that, uh, I think there was one for sound design and I want to figure out who did sound design and I want to thank them personally right now. But just give me a hot second, okay? Um, I have no idea, <laughs> to be fair. Um, but I think I should thank Oris Ghost as well looking at I, I can't really comprehend how uh how the the mod thanks is going here but whoever did the sound design bless you is good is really good i i'm enjoying that sound effect more than you can imagine it's the little things man it's the little things i know it sounds crazy to to sit here and focus on sound design in a mod but this kind of stuff is more valuable in a game than uh then you would think, right? Then you would think. So do not get hit. See, the thing is, Wax Wings absolutely gives you that incentive to not get hit. And it, it's, it is making me focus a little bit more and play a little bit more carefully, um, which is good. I mean, that means that I'm not gonna make stupid ass mistakes 24 seven, which is kind of my normal mantra. So we, we have basically cursed of the maze ourselves. Ah! Son of a gun. Are there mom hands in this room too? No. That was, that was just a sound effect for, for when wax wings broke. So, I mean, look, even even with wax <laughs> wax wings, even with why the why we the wings, even with wax wings going away, we still have 10 rate of fire, 6 damage, uh, which is pretty good it's pretty good could be better i mean we could have flight and uh eight rate of fire eight damage bob's brain huh you know what J just because i have lay void we're gonna do that that did give me a luck up in the end but it also decreased my luck i, I just am beginning to lose track of how how that even friggin works everything that we have i'm also gonna drop poker chip man um it's not something i want to gulp and thus i'm not too too interested in rocking it right now but i also want to continue to use this black box uh until we maybe get an item out of it even though it scales proportionate to luck and my luck is uh negative one which I did, but not even sure I knew luck could go below uh, zero in this game. I think I guess I did, but it's something that you don't see very often. So Ipecac Cursed Eye is one of those just extremely cursed situations. Uh, so I mean, naturally, I'll do it. The reason why it's bad, um, the long charge basically makes the teleport from Cursed Eye 
much more likely. Um, now I'm also bound to hit myself more. Really, everything about this is is a bad play. Um, but look, that who 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 do you think you are? I, I am. Uh, this is this is me, and this is the kind of stupid stuff I do. Okay. The damage is absurd, obviously, um, but this, th these kinds of, these kinds of teleports are going to occur, and, and we're gonna have to suck it up and deal with it. Now, hopefully we don't lose, uh, some, some, uh, synergies by taking this. Look at this room, dude. Wheel of Fortune, Emperor, High Priestess, High Priestess. So, Wheel of Fortune, Bomb, thanks for the staff. And then High Priestess, no, Emperor, yes, come in here. Dude, I forgot about reroll shops, dude. I forgot about reroll shops. It's such a such a such a good thing to have. It's stupid overpowered and a little unfair, but it's such a good thing to have. Uh okay, let's take mom's box. Pop it. It's bag lunch. And then I basically would like to get. A battery charge. Is that gonna happen? I don't know. <laughs> I need three cents to get this. We we have to be able to get three cents on this floor. There's no way I can't get three cents. I will I will do actually we have a donation machine that I could bomb the heck. Um So we, we can guarantee get three cents, because then I want to what is this? Pishi. Oh lord. Okay. That 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 he that was some that was some stuff, dude. That was some stuff. I'm trying to go back to the guide so I can see. Uh Pishi. Pishi Pishi Pishi. A health and damage up. Okay. I will not complain. I mean our damage is absurdly good, but that's partially due to the fact that we have, you know, one of the best damage up items in the game, I think is the best way to word that. Also, we're going to get a charge here against all odds, um, which is great. Lump of coal is also uh, just just absolutely disgusting. Um, so we'll take that. I'm not, I'm not even sure it helps us a lot, but here we are. Uh, do I like credit card? here uh i do actually i think better than the emperor we're gonna we're gonna full clear floors anyways is what we do um but let's go back we will likely void i mean here's what we're probably gonna do to be honest uh i'm going to bomb this until i get an active item that i'm interested in <laughs> okay um Does Diplopia benefit us in any way? It doesn't, to be honest with you. It doesn't. Um, no, it doesn't. I know that that hurts a lot of people to watch that, but it, it doesn't actually help us in any way that uh, it is a large good play for us. So we'll do that. It's a weak... Honestly, it's weak enough that I, I don't have any interest in even doing it. So I'm going to pop that. Ow. That gave us a uh, trinket trinket. Don't really care. I'll stick with bag lunch for now. Um, we'll just save the credit card. We'll, we'll use it here on the, on the next floor somewhere. I don't know why. I don't know when. But I'll tell you, we're going to use it. And when we use it, it's going to do good stuff for us. So... Did Wax Wings really give us that much of a stat increase? I think it might have lowered. I mean, no is a little bit of a weird one to take here. I, I don't think we want to take no. We'll take Sack of Sacks here. I always fall into this weird camp with uh, the Void where I'm constantly wanting to just void all of the items. Um, because you get the stat increases. And stat increases are the spice of life in this game, but... I want to make sure that I'm taking the, the modded items. So, we'll, we'll kind of see where life takes us on this one. I also am trying to learn... Yeah, okay, so that's the kind of room... Honestly, dude, this is the kind of room where you just, you just do one of these. And you take all the benefits, including this, and then you... 
to come over. I why would you do it? Why why what uh, what value did it have to to do that? Lose your wax wings and look like uh, a dang fool with the pants on the ground. I I hate it. I hate it. To be to be perfectly honest, right? Epic kick. It probably wasn't the play for this run, which I hate, right? Because. I took it, <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure it's the right play because we're we're constantly gonna lose our our wax wings. Um, you know, part part of the the birth ritual of Ipecac is uh, you can and will get hit, so so get used to it, right? I hate it. So I I feel like if I were to rewind time to the good old days yada yada it's look you, you get the reference um if i if i were to turn back time on this one i probably wouldn't take ipa uh and then i would have a thousand comments that are like this madman just just didn't take ipa uh and i i i don't know i i'd be interested to know what you would do in in my scenario um whether you want to see the the wax wings carry the run. I mean, to be fair, we have way more damage now with Ipecac than we did with just wax wings. So one could assume that the right play is to take Ipecac. But then it's like I'm showing off Icarus, the new character. So I, I don't know whether or not I should be uh, instead. Oh, come on, Kai, you gotta work with me. Holy Mantle is a, good, a very good item. Just a very, very good item. I've also now taken five puberty pills on this run. There does reach a point where uh, it's too many puberty pills. And I probably don't need more of them, but I appreciate it. The fact that we one-shot pretty much every enemy feels pretty good. Thanks for that. Um... We'll pop this in here. Why? I I just have literally no I <laughs> Ipecac, dude. Ipecac though. It do be the Ipecac though. Uh, I don't know why the hell I would even pop it in that room. The void, to be fair. All it did was put more spiders in the room that I, I didn't want to deal with. Got black hearts? Yo dog, you got any of those black hearts? Okay. We're we're still fine. Um, I'll even, I'll take Swallowed Penny here because I still think that active items are, are not necessarily a bad thing on a run with the Void. We did not get a Devil Deal. Uh, I will take Belly Button. Belly Button. Pop this. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh, whoa. ba -dum boom boom ba -da -dum. And don't it feel good? Yeah. Do -do 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 okay. Necropolis, Dank Depths 2. Same difference. We back on our wax wings. Good times though. We got a hundred percent chance of a deal. I'm feeling good. I, I would really like to make it to the end of this floor without getting hit. I think that would be a a nice change of pace for a, a loser like me. Hi! We have Holy Mantle, dude. I forgot about that. Yo, this is like an insanely good item for us, though. I mean, like, absurdly good item. Like, if I were to put the item on the scale of really good to just okay, it would be a very good item. I'm gonna gulp both of those. We now have, like, five trinkets gulped on us or something like that. Uh... <laughs> Just, just many, many, many of them. You dead. You dead. And hey, what is your quest? What is your favorite color? I will not do that room, though. Thank you. The world, pop. It's actually a, a very small floor. So first impressions of the mod. Uh, dude, I'm liking it. There, there's, a, there's a bunch of fun items. Uh, the thing that I like, and, and this is where you may, may differ right uh but i i've spoken ad nauseum about these kinds of mods in the past and my enjoyment of them um the items don't try to rewrite the game at least the ones that i've gotten right there, there might be some that do um but so far we've gotten a couple of 
Like, this is a damage up and a health up. This is a... But then it changed my tears to look like giant nails. That, those are the kind of things that I actually really enjoy uh, in a mod. Things that are, are simple items with simple mechanics, but then make it still seem unique and interesting. And I, I think that's actually a... Okay, so nine lives now. I think that's actually a really good characteristic of mods. I always bring up... Uh, th this damn mod gets more recognition from me than any other mod, but uh, I bring up the more mushrooms mod Which basically has a bunch of mushrooms that get added as boss items But it's like you get one stat increase and one stat decrease with them So it's like you can have this damage up, but you also get a range downgrade with it You know you can have a tears up, but your shot speeds gonna go down um, And I think it's the perfect perfect set of boss items in the game where you, you have to make a decision of balancing certain things about your uh about your run and i think it's it's actually really good so i appreciate the simplistic items that that don't try to rework the game so black hammer black hammer tears are tears are replaced by numbers one through nine I'm Mr. Game & Watch, dude. Oh my god, this is the greatest item of all time. It's the greatest item. I'm I'm actually friggin' Mr. Game & Watch. Dude, this is... This is incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. I... I... Want this... All the time? This is an amazing... This is incredible. I know that I just keep on saying the same thing over and over, but holy crap, that's good. So we're going to avoid that, like, instantly. Then we're going to get chaos, and things are just going to go friggin' buck wild now. Um, rewards card, okay? I have a feeling I can, I can piece together what this one does. Partial refund. Purchasing an item will reduce the price of other items by one. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. That is so busted. That is so busted. Oh no, dude. Contract from below. Blue map. This is so busted. I just have free stuff in the room. Yeah. I can't deny it. that one's a little bit I I'm not saying is is it shouldn't be allowed, but that is that is absurdly busted. Um, I just don't know about that one. Uh, I did pop Percano and the game would just decided, yeah, no, nah, I'm out for a second there. I think I, I broke the shop a little bit too hard. Wow, membership card is absurd. Uh, I, I, I absolutely love it, honestly. Okay, so make me Mr. Game & Watch, please. I don't even I don't even care if they do no damage. I just absolutely love the implications of this. I can't take the devil deal. You madman. To be fair, I don't really want it anyway cuz who knows what it is, right? Uh, it's a weird run, dude. It's a weird run. I wish we would have gotten membership card earlier. Um because we could break the heck out of a lot of shops. But Bobby Bomb. 25 cents. On the bright side. Money is uh, never an issue for the rest of this run. Then Small Rock. We, the amount of items that I just got in a very short period of time is a little bit absurd. Well, this will hurt in like a lot of ways. Um... I mean, what do you do in that scenario? It's probably shoot as fast as possible. Um, closets and Ipecac don't exactly go too, too hot together most of the time. Our tiers are hitting for 608 damage uh, at times. Low 500s occasionally. Uh, hello, I'm I'm Mr. Game & Watch. Hey, Mr. Game & Watch. A character that I, I do not often play. Uh, in Smash. That said, I can appreciate the the Black Hammer. Once again, dude, 
Th this item, it would be it would be unique and fun, and I would enjoy it. But the reason why I enjoy it even more is the is the dang sound effects. They're so good. I mean, they're actually just so good. Um, I I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so the matriarch. A boss that I have been happily trying to forget during my time playing uh, Anti-Birth, but here we are. And this room is from Peck, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying my best to not die in here. Spider Mod made this room look, look way scarier than it actually was, I think, with all the red bars around the room. A beep beep. A beep beep. Bleep beep. It's so good. It's so good. It's just incredible. Uh, I'm going to avoid both of them. I think this is the safe bet. Uh, that ended up being a massive tears up and damage up. So, uh, hit me when I care. Do I, do I want to go to the curse room? I don't care enough. Just go down. Just go down. This run is, is good as is, and I am uh, really quite happy. I'm really quite happy. We have, we have 20 rate of fire Ipecac, which if we didn't have Cursed Eye would be even more disturbingly good. Hey, buddy. You, you gotta you gotta stop the, the pop-up action. Ooh. A little, little bit of a dicey start to the room. Will we keep our wax wings alive? Okay, three. Two paralysis pills and a pheromone seems a little bit much, to be honest. But sure, if it helps you sleep at night, so be it. Uh, what, what, wiggity whack, what's in here? A button? A singular button, you say? I have no interest in your stupid silly button. That was incredibly French guy from Monty Python-esque. Okay. Five room to restart the room. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, what the hell am I getting? On the womb too, that is worth re-rolling my room. Because I think the answer is a whole hell of a lot of nothing. So, I will not five room here. Secret room. Secret room. Pop it. Two soul heart. I happy. I'm happy. There's probably a tinted rock in this room. Look, if you're going to get up in arms about me not doing... A singular tinted rock when I have Ipecac 9 lives and, and 7 HP. You're allowed, okay? I'm not gonna tell you that you can't get mad at me for things, but this is, the run is it's a win. It's a win with flying colors. Very flying colors. We don't gotta try too hard on this one. And I think we saw a good amount of modded things. Um, now, keep in mind, we saw what, like 10 modded items? There's 109. There's 109. So uh, maybe we'll do another video. If you want to see another video, then be, be sure to hit the like button so that I can recognize that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I unlocked Heartworm. Okay. Cool. I don't know what that is. I suppose I can look it up. That would be intelligent, right? Let's pop this. What the hell is that trinket to? I missed your game and watch. Okay. Let's look up Heartworm and look up whatever the hell this is. So, that is tr No. That's not training. See, that's Silver Tongue. Reduce the price of shop items by one. Oh my god. Okay, and then Heartworm is a range up. Tears accelerate and decelerate in a manner similar to Mob's Heart. Okay, that's cool, to be honest. So, really some interesting, interesting things that we have seen here. Um, I like it a lot. And honestly, I'm, I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the the guide for this, and there's a couple of really fun references in here. So uh, I said earlier there was a there was a Spelunky reference. There's a Kapala item in here. Uh, there's also Guppy's Eye as a trinket, which many people know is a uh, Four Souls card. Obviously, an item that is not in in Afterbirth Plus, but in the canonical Isaac universe, right? So, cool to see that. The card in Four Souls is you're allowed to look at all the other players' uh, loot cards, more or less. 
And in this one, it has increased the radius of revealed room. So it, it kind of has a similar, similar vibe there. It's just a really well-made mod. I, I honestly have... If my only complaint is that I think that this character is a little bit easy due to the, the very increased stats that they have uh, due to wax wings, I think that's pretty telling uh, of my opinion of the mod. I, I think this is absolutely one that you should check out. And if I ever do like another uh, ultra modded afterbirth plus type thing before repentance, which I... I'm gonna be honest, I don't I don't really intend on doing, but if I were to do it, uh I think this mod would hundred percent make it into that into that mod pack. Um I like this that much. I think it's actually very, very well made. So props to you mod devs, thank you for making an insanely good mod for us to play. Uh I'm having a, a grand time. A very grand time. I think this is right up there with the, the Ipecac community mods, community remix. You know, some of what I consider to be the best mods on the workshop. So, props to you. I've had a lot of fun on this run. Baptismal Shell. We have unlocked. Should I look up what this one does? Baptismal Shell. Chance to fire a tier that transforms monsters into a weaker variant. I, I am intrigued, for sure. Uh, okay, so this is the only one we don't know. Chunk of Tofu. Chunk of Tofu. Okay. A slower, more powerful cube of meat variant. Once obtained, it replaces all boss items. Interesting. So it replaces all boss items. I'm assuming it replaces all boss items with the Chunk of Tofu. Not it straight up removed all of my boss items from the run. That seems excessive. But maybe it did. I didn't notice a, a large stat downgrade. But I have a feeling it just replaces boss items with the chunk of tofu. Now, I will say it tears. Like, it's a very, very strong orbital. Um, which we saw if I can get close enough to this sucker. Yeah, it, 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 it's difficult to see, but it, it tears, dude. Endless Nameless is a fun trinket. I'm also super game and watch in this room. Just just very, very good. Why am I rocking Baby Bender right now as my trinket, by the way? That's a great question. That's a great question. I don't I don't have really a reasonable response to it. Um maybe I enjoy maybe I enjoy useless trinkets for my run. You gonna hate me? You gonna judge me? It's 2020, no judgment zone. Thank you. Okay. You dead. You dead as well. As well. It's a very strong run. Um even even without our void Mr. Game and Watch. Ipecac kinda let this one spiral out of control relatively quickly uh and i'm not i'm not upset with it in the slightest so blue baby is going to be a big rip today was a pleasure working with you blue baby boy a uh, blue baby boy -o. but uh till next time my friend till next time we have unlocked that baptismal font uh, i am gonna hit you with a little little extended extra here because I do want to see... I'm going to lose my streak, but I, I look, is four. I don't really care. Uh, I do want to see what happens um, with Hush and Communion. <laughs> because this was... This was funky enough. Oh, Lord. What have I done? I'm very slow. Okay. I just basically need enough damage to get through the first phase of this sucker. And I'm going to respawn Communion. There's a freaking cactus in the room. I don't... I have no idea what's going on. This is what happens when you give yourself random items. Dude, there's all kinds of random crap going on on the floor right now. I I really... I, I just... I'm very... I'm very sorry. I just want to use communion with Big Hush. So give communion. Thank you. And then... Let's wait for a lot of tears in the room. 
You might be like, Tyler, how, much, how many more tiers do you want, brother? There's a lot of tiers. Ready, ready, ready? Communion. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it was a little bit anticlimactic. Um, but I enjoy it a lot. This is how telekinesis should work, dude. That's 100% how telekinesis should work. I think it's super cool. I mean, my dude's basically just hurting himself. It's neat, man. It's neat. Uh, just a lot of really fun and good ideas in this mod. That's going to do it for this mod spotlight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the mod in the description down below. Uh, you can play it for yourself with Afterbirth Plus. Uh, it's on the Steam Workshop. Uh, I'll leave the link to that. You can go and you can uh, subscribe to the mod from there. It does require mod compatibility hack which is another mod on the workshop that just helps to make uh, mods a little bit more stable and, and allow them to do some features that are not normally capable in the base API. So uh, subscribe to those two mods and, the, and then play this. And if you enjoyed the video, like it, and I'll do another episode of this mod. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.